Last week, I went to Long Beach Convention Center for Anime Los Angeles, and it was a four-day long anime convention to kick off the new year. The Artist Alley took place in this huge venue, and I had no idea what to expect. Hello everyone, my name is Henry, and I started tabling at local events and anime conventions about four months ago. I used to print stickers for my college community, but I recently started drawing a lot more digitally, so join me as I get involved in this new and scary artist lifestyle. I'm scared, I feel not I'm scared. I think I have to make some things more clear. Like, I still think that the sticker packs is an unclear marketing strategy. Like, people have to look up and they don't realize that all of the stickers that are on display are the ones in the pack. We're wrapping up for day one. We were very sleepy. But honestly, I think that day one exceeded my expectations. Based on people's like um, commentary about ALA, because this is my first time at ALA. I'm mostly excited for Saturday and Sunday, because I think there's going to be more people and also some of my friends are showing up on Sunday. I think that Artist Alley on day one is more eventful than I thought. Rate our spot from 1 to 10, Gray. I think all the artists on our side are better. <laughs> I think there's less traffic because it's on the end, but sometimes be when it's the end, more people are focused on your booth because there's no one to look at on the other side. And then make sure you grab your free sticker as well for supporting. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. We have not sold a single print so far and it's very sad, <laughs> but I'm not, huh? Hold up guys, no way. Wait, you're lying, right? They actually want the prints. <laughs> we lied. Um, so we have the toad one. That's our first print, guys. So we have the Waddle Dee's one as well. And those are the only two prints I have right now and they're all one size. It's 11 by 14. I'm so shocked, guys. I'm very ecstatic. <laughs> this is crazy. Tell them they get free stickers, many of them. <laughs> so the really cool thing about this event is that it's known as a ribbon convention. So there's tons of artists that order ribbons online and have incentives from their shop in order to acquire these ribbons and people collect them throughout the entire convention. They also have a ribbon station. There are literally like people who are working on designing and printing uh, people's custom designs at like kind of the front right when you walk into the exhibitor or vendor hall. We got a lot of ribbons, guys, on day one. This is just day one of collecting ribbons. So I did a little bit of research beforehand and I found out that a lot of other people purchased ribbons to promote their uh, products. I did the same. I didn't purchase a whole lot because ribbons are kind of expensive too. No way! I'm not. having a lot of funny interactions before the event ends at 7. It's currently 6.30 and the event doesn't seem to be slowing down. Hello! Wow! Are you I am. I'm doing a little vlog. Yesterday, like, yeah. oh, there's a few different people that we've met in the market yeah. that should be here. So. Yeah. This is so cool to see you guys here. It's it's like... like this is <laughs> Yeah. Free stickers and... Oh, thank ribbon. you so much! <laughs> I bought like stickers from you and then yeah. I put them on my bottle. I lost that bottle. I left that at like a brewery and no it just never way. came back. I was like, oh, I gotta get you more stickers. There's way more here. Yeah. We're back. It's day two. We were late. Get her as a Viper main and as Viper herself. I sponsor this. <laughs> a lot of other artists I've seen like wear hats or like ears or something. I don't know if that's like a thing. Quote unquote halfway through the convention. I think we are doing slightly better than yesterday in terms of sales. I had like no expectations. So I've heard a lot of people say that Friday usually has more attendees than Thursday, even though Thursday is the first day of the um, four day long convention. But yeah, we have a few more hours to go. And then I also heard that tomorrow, Saturday, is going to be even more busy. So hopefully we'll be prepared. I have like a bin that just has a whole bunch of bags of stickers in it. And it is not efficient to be looking for a sticker when you can easily sort through 
like a bunch of containers instead. But I don't want to buy a whole another like large container yet. So I will probably just grab some small containers from home and then put stickers and separate those in there. So there's less work for, say for example, a helper to do if they had to look for stickers. Ray has more ribbons than me now, which is Plus the sound recording? Yeah. Hi. Because I want more ribbons. But I don't really want to like attach all my ribbons yet. I don't know. I think I have like 11 or 12. And Gray has like... Like 15. Hello. We got the Waddle D ribbons. They came in yesterday, so they're here now today. But the unfortunate part is that it's a little smaller. But they're still really cute. Uh, the main thing I sell is stickers, so not knowing whether people would be uh, receptive and give attention to my different mediums was kind of like scary, but it's definitely reassuring knowing that people are actually purchasing them. So, so far today we had three print sales. We're like halfway into the convention, it's about 3 p.m. so we have four more hours of this convention left. We are doing slightly bit better than yesterday's in terms of sales. Um, we're gonna do a quick review of snacks that people gave us. So first we have Rice Krispies. Uh, my friend Kia dropped this off to us. Last time he cosplayed Inosuke, but this time he cosplayed Iko. They are both shirtless characters so I think it kind of is on brand. The next snack we got is this Chinese cookie. Wait, is this a Chinese cookie? I think so. Okay. Chinese cookie. Finally, we have this ring pop. The person had a sign that said, ask me for a surprise. So I asked them what was in the surprise and they pulled out like a uh, box and they opened it like it was an engagement ring and the, it was inside with this ring pop. And This is a wrap on day two. We are halfway done with the convention. And Gray is leaving us. And we will have new help the next few days. We are back at the convention center and I have Matthew's help today. And it's the only day I'm cosplaying. I'm cosplaying as Noah from Xenoblade. We're inside the convention center and they did not make us dump out our water this time compared to yesterday. It's kind of weird. Henry did though. Um, Henry yeah. made me dump out water. I made, I'm security today. But anyway, there are water stations inside here. Uh, there's one right here. I just realized I am matching my uh, cosplay with the background of this. Hello! Welcome back to day three. Uh, there is a lot more people here today on Saturday and there are significantly more children at the convention right now. I think it's because it's the weekend and everyone is off of work, off of school. If you look down like the artist alley, you can see like tons of people through the aisles. A good indication that today is more crowded than the previous two days is the bathrooms. I went to the restroom the previous two days, they were not crowded at all. And I went today, and there was literally a line for me. The number one cosplay I've been seeing so far at this event is the Nanami from JJK. Uh, I think it's because it's a really easy cosplay for people to do. Like, the tie is really simple, and in general, it's just like a professional work suit, like blue and uh, tan khaki slacks. I think this anime convention has a ton of diversity in terms of how many different animes are represented by the uh, attendees. At 3.30 p.m. there's gonna be a Xenoblade cosplaying meetup outside and then we collected a few more ribbons so far. We had a few people stop by and they're ribbon trading so they'll come up to us and ask if they can trade our ribbons for theirs and they'll have like a whole box of ribbons to give away. We're gonna leave Matthew on duty <laughs> over here. He's going crazy. He's gonna be in charge of all the sales. And then in the meantime, we are gonna go to the uh, Nino Blade meetup. I put on my glasses to make sure I knew where I was going because I was like, I have no idea. There are a few people. I saw a Shulk person earlier over there, so maybe they're on that side. But this is, look at this. Look at how many people are out here at this convention right now. I'm only in the Artist Alley side, so I'm only able to see what it's like inside the convention. The Artist Alley is over there. 
along with the exhibit hall. I love it, I love it. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> Check this out. Thank you. Thank you. This is Artist Alley after closing. It's also the best time to get free stuff. <laughs> we just made it to day three of the convention and we're gonna be back here for day four Sunday. It's going to be the um, shortest day because it ends at 5 p.m. and we are anticipating there to be a lot less people. That's what I've been told. We're gonna go get dinner because I did not eat lunch all day. Matthew did not eat lunch all day. It's part of the New Year's diet. Hello. Welcome back to the final day, day four. I'm here with my new helper, Dennis. <laughs> I forgot to clear my water again this time, so now I have to refill it inside. But they didn't ask for me. Yeah. Uh, kind of sneaky. So for today, I wore a crocheted frog hat. It's looking pretty empty today compared to a Saturday. One snapshot is all it takes. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just finished the convention. It's officially over in the artist alley. Uh, it is now like 5, 10 p.m. and everyone is leaving. People are packing up and it's very intense because some people are trying to leave super fast. So people are packing up like extremely quickly. So the vendors around us, our neighbor already left. Our other neighbors are also packing up super quickly. And we're trying to pack up too. We're a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay. We're just excited to go and eat food. Um, but yeah, we're speed running, uh, packing up right now. And so we'll see you guys when, or I'll see you guys when we are finished packing up and hopefully we get some good dinner. We just finished packing up. We just loaded everything in one cart. Less manual labor, you know, when you're on wheels. This dude is hella tired. I'm like carrying this pegboard by hand but I should really add a handle to it. Notice how Henry's carrying it. things in his left hand because he is left-handed. They like to think All that I'm left-handed. All think he's not. He's I'm, a, I'm he's, literally- He's acting, he's acting. I'm literally right-handed, I don't know why. Oh, that's Cap. Check out everybody closing their shop. That was a very fun Sunday. I'm really sleepy. This was a very fast four days. Go Let's here. go get some food. <laughs> Apparently you can order a full ass steak. Do you want a steak? You can order a full ass. And we're about to eat some good ass food. Some good ass. Is everything, why is everything an ass joke? I am already satisfied low-key from eating the appetizers. They're so good. convention thoughts. I think this event went pretty well. I'm recording this like a week after though because I was like trying to edit the video and I was super tired and literally yesterday and the day before Anime Impulse just happened and I didn't expect to get into that event. I actually got off the waitlist so hopefully I can work on the vlog for that video but right now uh, we're talking about Anime Los Angeles. So anyway I think that the event went pretty well. It exceeded my expectations before the event i heard from other friends that the convention was kind of mediocre like some people didn't even make back their table costs so i was a little afraid but um i was confident that i would be able to at least make back table um based on previous events that i've attended and seeing how like people react to uh my stuff this is also the first convention that I'm having the chance to vlog at and I'm hoping that I did a good job documenting my experience and sharing it with you guys. Also, big shout out to all my friends that helped me out at this convention. It would not have been possible without them. Something I tried to do at this event because it was a four day long event was kind of go for different looks throughout the um, weekend. So I think that with a different look, like you kind of can look more approachable to people. I think when people are passing by your table, they can tend to be like quiet or introverted and they might think it's scary to talk to the artist sometimes. So I think increasing your approachability, changing up the way you look can be a really good thing from what I can tell. I think I'd rate this event like a nine out of 10. I would definitely come back again next year and hopefully have more ribbons. 
and in general since I met a lot of artist friends and a lot of new like people who like my art style and are interested in what I have to offer in the artist alley scene that it's a very strong start to the new year and hopefully as I'm applying for more conventions having this on my like artist portfolio or artist resume of events I've attended is a really good event to have under your belt when you're applying for juried application processes. <laughs> okay. Bro gave me the nastiest side eye. <laughs>